Criminal Prosecution Service is not working properly because if it was working properly you would be getting these high profile convictions and you're not. I think you need to make sure that that's in context of the sort of 86% of conviction rate that we have across the board. So out of it's, those... Sorry, there respect, is I'm not talking about across the board, I'm talking about these high profile cases and within that grouping there are an awful lot of failures. There's a much higher proportion of failures than successes. Um, well, I, I don't recognise the term failure in relation to these. We have correctly brought them to court. We've put them before a jury. And a jury has a very different test to the Crown Prosecution Service. They decide, they have to decide whether they are satisfied beyond all reasonable doubt to convict. So it's not a failure if you bring a case to court and the jury throws it out. Surely that's not a measure of success on the part of the Crown Prosecution Service. I don't think it is a failure because if we only took cases to court where a jury was going to convict, we would be accused of being overly cautious and we will get to the stage where we were not taking cases before a court, which we should do, and therefore failing victims. The senior Conservative MPs are saying it's time for a review into the CPS. Would you welcome that? Um, I don't think we need a review into the CPS, and I think we have to be careful not to knee-jerk into a reaction because of a small handful of cases. What we do do, and which we will do in this case, is we look at um, cases where there have been acquittals to see if there are any lessons we can learn. And I will look at this particular case to make sure that there, if there are lessons, we do learn them. But that does not mean to say that we are not right to bring these cases, and we will continue to do so if we have the evidence and it is in the public interest.